the electric cell can be thought of as somebody who's getting really exhausted trying to move the ball through the tube. The electric cell is something that gets exhausted while trying to move charged particles through the wire. It's a beautiful metaphor. But I want to extend that metaphor and also explore how circuits work a little deeper with you, if you will. Now, if this were the cell and this were connected to this tube in some manner, metaphorically, it's as good as saying that the balls are being asked to move through the tube. Great, that's happening. It looks beautiful, it looks colourful, but it's so useless, right? I mean, it's being useless to the outside world. In the real world, if you think about it, it's like taking this cell and having wires attached to it. And it's like connecting the wires here directly. Check that out. You'll have to trust me that there's electricity flowing through this. Except, the cell's getting tired and there's nothing meaningful coming out of it. Yes, charges are flowing. Yes, the cell's getting exhausted. But what is it doing for us? It's like, yes, the walls are moving, but it means nothing to the outside world. On that note, to make your learning super impactful and useful in the outside world, download Baijus the Learning app today. Let's get back to this video for now. Ah, but here's where we'll extend this metaphor. Check out what happens now. When I attach this funny looking thingy down here. Now if the cell were connected to the circuit, Check out what happens as the charges are flowing through the wire. This little thing is helping us move. Some mechanism is helping us take meaningful output to the world outside of the circuit as well. Check that out. That seems to be turning as the balls are pushing it. Look, ball current. And it is causing that little thing also to move around. That means this ball current is being used meaningfully to turn that thing. Now, in the real world, that's like saying, here I have a component. This, by the way, is a toy fan. Unlike the previous case where I just connected the terminals of the cells together, check out what happens now. When I connect the terminals of the cell to that particular fan, whoa! The fan is rotating. Just like in this model, if this were connected in, the electric current causes that little thing to rotate. Of course, <laughs> it doesn't mean that this represents a fan. And it is not that the charged particles that are moving in the circuit are pushing the fan and making it rotate, all right? That's just a metaphor, it's a representation. Like very milk, could be a bulb, it could be any other appliance, any other component in the circuit that is taking the flowing charges in the circuit and making something meaningful out of it. But hey, what mistakes could we make while completing circuits? To find that out, check out the videos on Baiju's The Learning App and complete your In Love With Learning circuit.